Akron and the Demon Deacons from Wake Forest were meeting for the eighth time on the pitch. Each team had claimed three victories in the series with one draw. The Demon Deacons, who came in ranked in the top 10, began attacking early and often in this contest, but the Zips goalkeeper, number 24, Jake Fenlison, was ready for anything Wake would send his way. Meanwhile, the Zips were just a bit off on some early chances. The Demon Deacons' hard work would finally pay off as they worked the ball between two of their players and finally hit John Baccaro on a give-and-go that gave Wake Forest a 1-0 lead in the 21st minute. Jake's great work in goal and the rest of the defense kept the Demon Deacons from extending their lead on Akron. Meanwhile, Sam Gainford and the Zips offense were starting to click and the fans could sense that they were getting closer. Finally, in the 29th minute, Richie Laria took a pass from Adam Najum, dribbled into the box, and played a shot that got past the Wake Forest netkeeper to knock the score at one. Richie takes some time to celebrate with the AK Rowdies faithful in attendance. The rest of the first half and into the second, Akron and Wake Forest traded chances on the offensive side, but each of the defenses and goalies were equal to the task. It's a wonder how this game did not turn into a high-scoring affair. Both goalies faced double-digit shots and each made seven saves on the night. Something had to give, you would think. What would be the deciding factor to settle this battle between two top-ranked teams? And then it happened. An Akron foul in the box and ensuing penalty kick was what Wake Forest needed to take a 2-1 lead. The defenses for both teams continued to play well the rest of the night. The Sips would actually outshoot the Demon Deacons in the second half 11-7, including six shots on goal. But it was not Akron's night as the Wake Forest defense and goalkeeping worked overtime to shut out the Zips in the second half, despite some great opportunities seen here. The game was a physical one all night and saw a total of five yellow cards and 39 fouls on both teams. 